Hey you guys, it is me, Laura, and I wanted to hop on here. I always watch Black Friday sales. Sometimes I usually, in Cyber Monday and stuff, and I usually am saving up for things like clothes or things like that, but this year there wasn't much that I was really saving for until I saw that Bright Ideas Press, which is who produces The Mystery of History, they put all of their Mystery of History books on sale for 20% off. And since I know that pretty soon here, I am going to need the volume four mystery of history for our history. I went ahead and got it. And um, I actually was just going to get the companion guide because with the volume three, they have it so that you can buy the student text and the companion guide separately. But for volume four, you can't buy the companion guide separately. They have a hardback book of volume four and then the companion guide comes with it in a CD. And I think this is the format that they're ultimately kind of switching over to. But I got the text in the mail and I am really, really excited about it. So I'm gonna show you the differences between the original Mystery of History and this new volume so that in case you're curious what is going on too, you can understand a little bit better. So I'm gonna turn this around and show you. So this is the start of a quarter in the old book. You can notice that everything is black and white. There's still some nice illustrations. It's got the introduction to a quarter. And then it's got the pretest for week one and the lesson and the activities for the lesson are here for the younger, middle, um, and older students and then it goes on to the next lesson with the story and then the activities for the lesson and basically it continues this way through the unit until you get to the end where it has the other tests um what did you miss the tests the timeline stuff and and all of that is there so that's basically what this one looks like so if you look at the new one You'll see right away, it's hardback. It definitely feels more like a traditional textbook. When you open it up, you have color. Um, it's got more illustrations. It's got some photographs and just more kind of visual appeal than the old one. So let's go to the beginning of the first quarter, just like we did there. This is a different volume, obviously, so it's not gonna be the same content. But you've got your start of the quarter, which looks very similar. And then you've got your lessons. So here's week one, lesson one. And then um, the lessons are kind of lesson two. These lessons are longer because they're intended for an older audience. Lesson three. But you notice there are no pretests, no activities, no anything. This is just the reading that you've got here in the text. And then all of the pre-tests, all of the kids' activities, all of the extra stuff is here on this CD. So that is basically the difference between the two formats. And I don't know, with volume three, like I said, I got a download of just this companion part by itself and you could buy the student part separate. So I don't know if they're gonna be doing this same kind of thing with it or how exactly they're working it. But if you were wondering, looking at ordering Mystery of History and seeing the differences in how things are changed, that is pretty much it. So this is now called the student text and the pretests and the activities and all of that stuff is now on the companion guide. So that is pretty much it. I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.